Hello everyone. Welcome to JGK Master Class. Guys, in today's session, we will discuss anisotropic effect in proton NMR, which is found in alkenes, alkynes, and aromatic compounds. You can see in carbonyl compounds also. In this video, we will discuss some of the previous year's questions of MSc chemistry. And the topic is very important for all the stream or students like MSc, BSc, CSIR net and gate competitive exams. So before going ahead, I, it's uh, my request that uh, I'm uh, making videos for you after putting my all energies and uh, efforts and time. So I want one favor from you that if you like my videos and you feel that it, you're getting benefited of it, so do subscribe my channel as I have seen many of my viewers are non-subscribers and uh, do share it and like my videos so that I will also get motivated to prepare more and more videos for you. So now we'll move with the first question, discuss anisotropic effects in proton NMR for alkene and alkynes. So first we will see what is anisotropic effect. So basically in uh, NMR, we know we are talking about all the molecules which are having the pi electrons and here uh, as the NMR says nuclear magnetic resonance, we have here molecule where we apply it in the applied magnetic field. So you have an organic molecule and you put it in the applied magnetic field. So what type of molecules we have? Those who are having the pi electrons. So when you place an organic molecule having pi electrons, in the applied magnetic field, what happens? The electrons around it start circulating. Thus, which leads to the higher frequency in paramagnetic zone. We also call it downfield shift or de-shielding. Or some of the protons you can find in lower frequency or we can say lower chemical shift value, which falls in the diamagnetic zone also called upfield shift and shielding of the protons. So these terms are very important. You can correlate that uh, higher higher frequency or higher chemical shift you can find in paramagnetic zone means downfield shift or de-shielding. So this will be very important for further discussion. Since the effects are paramagnetic in certain directions around the pi cloud and diamagnetic in other you have different environment in the same molecule, so we describe it as anisotropic, means unequal. Somewhere you have paramagnetic, somewhere you have diamagnetic unequal, so it is called anisotropic. Now, we will take a simple molecule where you can say this uh, is a hydrogen molecule where uh, you have applied magnetic field. Once you apply the applied magnetic field, electrons start circulating around the molecule. And because of this circulation, it induces the secondary magnetic field. You can see this is induced magnetic field. And because of that, in the center of the molecule, which uh, where the induced magnetic field is opposing the applied magnetic field, that zone is called diamagnetic zone. And where it is parallel to the applied magnetic field, that is called paramagnetic zone. So this is uh, important and we will discuss the same concept uh, while taking alkene, alkyne and aromatic compound. So we will go ahead first with alkene. Uh, before going uh, to discuss the alkene, you can just see the flow chart. Let's say as I told you that we have a pi system here. You can find it in alkene, alkyne, aromatic and carbonyl compounds. When you apply the external magnetic field, the electrons start circulating. And because of that, induced magnetic field occurs, secondary induced magnetic field. And the induced magnetic field may be parallel to the applied field. So then the net effect is it is increasing the magnetic field. So that is called paramagnetic zone or downfield shift. And here the protons are called de-shielded. And so it is going to show you the higher chemical shift value. The other consequence is that the induced magnetic field may oppose to the applied field and the net effect is it is decreasing the magnetic field and so the zone is called diamagnetic zone or upfield shape and the protons are in this reason called shielded protons 
and show the lower chemical shift value. So this type of flow chart will help you to understand or for the better clarity of uh, the phenomena which happens when you place such molecules in the magnetic field. So alkenes. Let's talk about alkene. So alkene is having a double bond. When this double bond is 90 degree to the applied field, B0. So you can see you have an alkene here, C double bond C. And when this applied field is, you can see this is at the double bond position and the applied field is 90 degree to each other, the electron starts circulating and which induces the magnetic field here. And you can notice that in the center, it is diamagnetic above and below the double bond and it is paramagnetic where you are outside the double bond, you can say, where all the protons are falling. And so it is deshielding zone, you can say down field shift or higher del value. So induced magnetic field. So when this induced magnetic field is parallel, it is paramagnetic zone. And so it is showing the deshielding of the proton and the higher chemical shift value. For alkene, you can notice the chemical shift into 4, is to, 4, to, 2, 8, 4 to 8 ppm range. So in this range, you can find the chemical shift value of alkene. So this is called the induced anisotropic magnetic field of alkenes. Some more points uh, which we have already discussed when the magnetic field is parallel. So net field is greater. Therefore, it is showing the higher chemical shift value we have already discussed. And above or below the double bond, it is opposing the B0, the induced magnetic field. And so it is showing the shielding or the lower del value. So whenever the question comes for alkenes, you have to show the anisotropic of alkene. You have to describe all these points along with this diagram labeled fully. Now we'll notice alkynes. So here the axis of alkyne lies parallel to the P0. We will notice in the figure. First we will discuss the points. Pi electrons induces uh, uh, to circulate around the C triple bond C and produces the secondary magnetic field as we have noticed in alkene. Same points here. Now proton experiences diamagnetic field in the vicinity of C triple bond C and so it is showing the lower chemical shift value. While the acetylene proton therefore which falls in the diamagnetic zone will show you therefore the chemical shift value lower value which is 1.5 to 3.5 range. Now we will see again all these points while discussing this figure. So you can notice the first point says axis of alkyne parallel to the P0. So you can see the axis of alkyne means C triple bond C axis is parallel to the P0. In alkene it was 90 degree. Now it is oriented in such a way that it is parallel. So what happens because of this again the electrons start circulating it and because of this circulation induced magnetic field occurs or the secondary magnetic field produces because of that in the center where the uh, induced magnetic field is opposing the applied magnetic field it is called the diamagnetic zone where other side you can notice that where the parallel the applied field is parallel to the induced field it is called the paramagnetic zone now since acetylene protons you can notice here falls in the diamagnetic zone you can notice which is opposing the applied field. The protons are in the same zone and therefore this is the reason why acetylenic protons appears at lower chemical shift compared to alkene, compared to aromatic compounds and other compounds. So 1.5 to 3.5, the reason is because it experiences the diamagnetic field effect. And so you can answer this question, why ethylene protons are deshielded than the acetylenic protons? We will see the next question. What is magnetic anisotropy in NMR? Explain using benzene as an example. Already we have discussed the magnetic anisotropy. Now we will discuss the benzene. So in benzene we know the molecules are having pi electronic cloud which is delocalized in the aromatic ring. And because of delocalization in the presence of magnetic field it produces the ring current. So ring current is a 
uh, special uh, term which we use only for the aromatic compounds. And this induced field is diamagnetic in the center of the ring while it is paramagnetic outside the ring. Protons which are in the periphery or outside the ring resonates at higher L value because that falls in the paramagnetic zone while the protons above or below the plane of the ring that is above or below the center of the ring it since it falls in the diamagnetic zone it resonates at lower del value now we'll clear this more while taking this picture you can see it is same like you have aromatic compound you have applied field here and because of this applied field electrons start circulating here because of this circulation induced magnetic field occurs and in the center you can see since it is opposing the applied field it is diamagnetic zone and so the protons which falls here will show the lower del value while outside the peripheral protons which are you can see the induced magnetic field is parallel and so it experiences a higher chemical shift value because it is falling in the paramagnetic zone or deshielding zone and so the aromatic protons shows chemical shift in the range of 6 to 9 ppm. So normally you might have observed peak for aromatic compound between uh, 7 to 8 is very prominent. Therefore you can answer all these questions like describe an isotropic effect in aromatic hydrocarbons. Also explain why aromatic protons appear at higher del value than the asymmetric protons. So I hope you understood the concept of anisotropy and why alkene and aromatic protons absorbs at higher del value or chemical shift value compared to acetylenic. Or what is the reason why acetylenic proton appears at lower del value? Happy learning.